So then I think, congratulations. Thank you. Um, before we start with the question, do you, do you have something to say? Would you like to say something in particular? Uh, first of all, I just want to thank uh, Aries for the opportunity once again. Uh, the promotion is amazing. It gives us the platform to showcase our skills. So I'm very excited to be part of such a great promotion, such as Aries. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, on peut commencer avec les questions Hi, Demarte, Dennis for this sports content. Here it is, the belt in front of you. It was your main goal in Ares. What is the main feeling tonight? Uh, it, I replayed this feeling so many times in training, every time I sparred. So it was a familiar feeling, I guess. I'm excited to be a, a champion and um, just go on from here and then do more. So. Once again, you won against a French fighter. What did you think of Elias Boudexam tonight? Elias, he, he was very good. Uh, his stand-up was a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, he was catching me a lot with that uh, right hook in the first round. And then I just thought, let me just keep my left hand up. But he hit hard. But I didn't think he was going to knock me out. So I thought, you know what, let me just take that shot and go forward. Because once he was putting a lot of pressure, I thought maybe I was losing the fight. And then I thought to myself, you know, I've been doing jujitsu for, geez, for so long. And I thought, I don't care if I just take him down because I thought, let me just strike with him and not, let me not go to the ground because he's got a lot of triangle finishes. So I thought, you know what, I know jujitsu. That's, I'm all, I don't know if, I've been a brown belt now for maybe seven years. The only reason I'm not a black belt is because I don't do gi anymore. I just do no gi. So I trust my ground game very well. So I thought he was never going to submit me. So, yeah. Hi, Mate. Yeah. From Costa Rica. Congratulations for the fight and the belt. Thank you. Uh, you are not new in RS. Uh, we see you uh, many times before. You are now with the belt. Uh, what do you want for the future? I suppose many defense titles in RS. That's it. that's the plan. Yeah, I just want to be active. Look, I broke my nose now, so I don't know. <clears throat> I broke my nose, so I don't know how long it's going to take for it to heal. But as soon as it's healed, then I can compete again. I, I just want to be active. So I just want to go back home now and see a doctor and see how long they, it's going to take to heal. And then I just want to fight. I don't, I don't have a lot more time fighting, maybe three, four more years. So I just want to be as more active as possible. Just to defend or hopefully UFC goes to Africa. Maybe you get a chance there. So just keep pushing, you know. I love, I love competing. Today was a good fight. It was a different fight than my last few fights. And then, yeah, just keep getting better, you know. Coming back after so long, I didn't do my best against Lapilos. I thought if I could have jumped down my best, I could have at least put in a better fight. And then I'm glad I redeemed myself now. Showed that I am more skilled than what I showed that fight. And with Ida as well, I showed more wrestling now. I mixed it up a little bit more. And I think there was a few times where I had the opportunity almost finishing him. It was a bit wobbled, but he's a tough guy. And I appreciate the challenge. Merci pour ce combat, c'est un très très bon combat. Euh, je voulais savoir aujourd'hui, enfin le combat que tu as, as donné aujourd'hui, ça a montré en fait que tu étais complet, surtout debout. Euh, Est-ce que l'objectif était de montrer que tu étais complet ou euh, tu cherchais vraiment à le, à le soumettre ou le mettre KO I think I understand what you say. Uh, no, I think I understand. Uh, so the, the point wasn't necessarily to show that I'm a complete fighter. Um, every time I, I watch a fight, I just think, okay, where I think I'm better at than this guy. I thought his jiu-jitsu was very dangerous because he's finished like maybe four or five guys on the ground with triangle and he even did a jumping triangle. So I thought, okay, let me not mess around with the ground game because I don't want to get submitted. And then on the striking, was doing very well. He was catching me with those right hooks. So I thought, geez, okay, so I got to mix it up a little bit more now. I can't just strike with him. So I was able to take him down, control him. I trust my jiu-jitsu very much and I've been wrestling pretty much my whole life. And then even when he took my back, he tried to take me down, I knew that I was going to reverse the position. So I think it's more of a case people should understand that I can fight, stand up, I can, I can fight on the ground. I box with boxers, do stand up with strikers. I do a lot of jiu-jitsu competitions. So I can mix it up, but if, if I know I'm better than you on the ground, I'm going to take you down, simple. Okay. J'ai une autre question. Uh, je voulais savoir, maintenant que tu as la ceinture, est-ce que ton objectif, ce serait plutôt, comme, euh, comme je pense que tu l'as dit tout à l'heure, est-ce que ce serait d'aller à l'UFC ou tu es plutôt du genre à vouloir défendre ta ceinture et euh, tu serais prêt à, à chercher peut-être des noms dans l'organisation dans dans pour, pour, les, pour les battre Okay, so now, now that you have the belt, are you 
are you the type of guy to look for the to look for the UFC? Or maybe you want to stay like in RS and look for another guy in RS and maybe in the in RS roster or maybe somewhere else so we can like take him to you? Like I said, always with, with, with uh, Mr. Lopez here. I'm always looking for a fight. I always want to fight. Uh, like I said, uh, the doc said my nose is broken, so it's going to take a while to heal. I need to go home and get an operation. But as soon as I'm able to compete, I want to compete. I don't want to spend uh, too much time on the sideline. But uh, yeah, I just want to compete. Hopefully the UFC goes to Africa as well. It's the only place I think now that they haven't been. Who knows, they give us opportunity. Like I said, I only have maybe three, four more years of fighting. I don't want to fight for much longer than that. So I just want to compete. And if it's to defend, I'll fight anybody. I'm not... I really, I came back after five years and I fought the best guy here. So I wasn't scared to fight. It just unfortunately that day, just things didn't work out. So, but I just want to compete, you know, that's my goal. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Demarte, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, at the end of the fight, you said, uh, thank to God, uh, what's, God will present to you or what the belt will present to you? I said thank God because I mean I grew up in a Christian family um, but then obviously out of a lot of the politics and Christianity and all that kind of stuff I stopped believing in God for so long but now I believe in God not necessarily in a, in a way as a Christian or as a Muslim or whatever I just believe in a higher power and then once I started doing that again my life started to be better I don't go to church or anything like that but I just believe that something, something out there is looking out for me. My life is better now, so I think there's a lot of politics involved with uh, Muslim, whatever, Christian, but at the end of the day, God is God. Whatever God is for you and whatever God is for me, and I'm, I'm happy now in my life. Is there a question for No, no, no. Okay. Is there a question for Was that a good fight? Yeah. Was a good fight? <laughs> Hi. Hey, brother. Randy from uh, La Vega. And um, I, we want, I want to know that you, you're a complete fighter. You, yeah. showed it, you showed it tonight. But I want to know that did you have a plan against Elias? Even if you're a complete fighter? <laughs> yeah, with Elias, I wanted to strike with him. I wanted to do to stand up with him a lot more. But he was catching me really well. He did that deep and then through the overhand right, which cut my, my eye and then broke my nose. I was very surprised, you know. He hit me hard and I was feeling the shock, but I told myself, you know what, whatever, man. I, I went to this fight at the back. I just told myself, you know what, I'm already dead. That's what I told myself. I said, I'm already dead. There's nothing worse than can happen. So when he hit me, I just said, you know what, I'm already dead. Let me just keep coming forward. And then it worked. And then I thought, okay, I need to mix it up a little bit more with my wrestling. Because I was bleeding and damaged. That counts a lot in, in MMA scoring. So I thought, you know what, let me mix with my wrestling. When he took me down, he was very excited. He thought this was going to be easy. But like I said, I've been wrestling for a very long time. And I know Jiu-Jitsu very well. Like in South Africa, I'm one of the best grapplers there. Just pure Jiu-Jitsu. So I know Jiu-Jitsu and I, know I can fight. So like I said, a lot of people don't know that, but I can really fight. So at the end of the day, whatever the opponent is, I always find a way to win. And then I think it showed tonight. Okay, Demarte, we're going to let you rest. Thank I've got a special for you. Congratulations again. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.